meals a day rather than starve and not be able to keep up your old job. I am not actually dressed for battle at the moment. Most of the people behind me are dressed for battle. I'm actually dressed in an off-duty uniform if I was going to a fancy occasion. I think some of you saw that we had the dancing out here at 3 o'clock. I'm dressed as if I'm going to a dance, which is why you can see the buckles on my shoes. You can see my socks are completely exposed, nothing to, uh, to protect them. And I'm wearing my sparring. It's a goatskin bag that I'm able to keep things like my glasses, any writing implements, my wallet in. I wouldn't usually be carrying this in the field. This would usually be stuck in my backpack while I was marching. So uh, I think we'll just move from right to left or from left to right. The angle, the angle. OK. So continuing now with the red coat. So in kind of keeping with our, our uh, Soldiers of the Empire theme, um, I'm dressed as a member of the 88th Regiment of Foot uh, in Spain, so circa 1809 to 1812. Um, and I'll just give a quick rundown. They were an Irish regiment, um, uh, but they had, like most of the British Army, they had a lot of Irish, they had some English, they had some Welsh, 